Welcome. I've decided to make another tutorial about distribution of mass and where the center of mass of an aircraft is supposed to be, but it doesn't get there by accident. It has to be planned. So This says what I want you to folks to understand that um, if there's excess mass in the aft of an airframe, it doesn't disappear if the nose is made heavier. The tail is still heavy. So that's something that you boys need to learn how to see and understand. So here we have an illustration that I've linked to several times over the years and it says what you all need to understand about center of mass. It's separate from center of gravity and it if it's not addressed Deliberately, then a problem there just is permanent, never goes away. So the text says what you should understand about the location of CM. This is um, another image that I've linked to many times, and um, again. It shows the same thing, where the CM is supposed to be when design is optimal. And it has to be planned for. So I have a model that I made some time ago. And I have identified that position on it where the CG should be. Um, so, I'll just try to demonstrate that even though the CM is up here, we can at least get an approximation by balancing at the belly aligned with that spot. So, as I push this forward, you'll see that it's now, well, where it balances is where we want it to balance, pretty close. Okay, that's... That's the idea. Now, if this tail was heavy, I could put weight on here and it would balance for CG, but that hasn't fixed the problem, the tail heaviness problem. So, there you go, folks. Have fun.